Hey guys, what's up? I'm Zoe Bilobachansky for the Mr. Jared B92. Call him Mr. JB. And welcome to my Looney Podcast. A very Looney Tunes podcast for all the Looney Tunes videos that the YouTuber has made. Some finished ones, alright? So, even though if you noticed that there's a finished one called Language Nursery, that's the one we're going to start. So, on my iPad, so I want to show you how much of you promised to say, yep, I hope Language Nursery is all about making up stuff language. I'll type it here. And there we go. Looney Tunes presents Language Nursery. It was originally under-released. So, now, the fan fiction film just said, why Language Nursery? And the answer just said, well, it was the first Looney Tunes video ever released. I created a DVD announcement accompanied by Looney Bach, and the first video is where I thought someone just captioned it. Now, let me just try to have sketches. We're going to review some sketches for Language Nursery. Now, even though we're going to see what we're going to see, a Warner Brothers logo, that, that actually happened here. Anyway, this is located on Six Flags Magic Mountain, California. If you live in California, go right ahead. No, oh, and there's a voiceover. So this is why I broke up a voice with the cough. And this is where it adds up on the warning screen. <coughs> now, uh, in the warning screen, you have two websites. Now, the music and voiceovers are added. Now, there's a bear in a box. Hi. So, the English voiceover is Julie Inger Clark, founder of Baby Einstein and sponsor of Looney Tunes. Now, a Baby Einstein theme in C major, an instrumental thing, which includes opening titles with Disney fonts. Looney Tunes LLC presents in association with Warner Brothers Inc. Language Nursery. Now, after the opening, comes to a fishbowl. There we go. So, even though the fishbowl is definitely exotic, now to a nursery rhyme, it all have types. An evening song. It was an evening song in German. This German vo voiceover was Gabrielle Ruiz from Berlin. Yeah, it includes uh, all the graphics. It'll make the brain relaxing and taking a break with all this kind of wacky, I mean, uh, crazy, I mean, annoyingness. This is minus, definitely, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it includes a patterns, black rectangles, white circles, red squares, a checkered pattern, and a yellow crescent to make a donut. All right, so Thank now, you. transition to... I will, I will. Thank you so much. All right, bye-bye. This roly-poly cow. Anyway, okay. This roly-poly cow is definitely cute, but weird. Anyway, it's really creepy. Hi. Yeah, an E major is Old MacDonald had a farm. An instrumental thing also. So it includes counting and exercising with letters and warm-ups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An alphabet, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It has languages, visuals, transitions, voiceovers, and music, and types. Again, it's very, very the first one that I've ever used. Now into the counting sequence. The rocket stack. This is sounds Russian. And uh, the Russian voiceover was Ludmilla Zaitsev. Well, now she's here. She's home. Mm-hmm. Um, right there. It has colors. 
red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Well, with her, with the mother, her friend's mother, no, not her, her friend's mother, no, not her, friend's mother, no, not her stuff. I'm afraid somebody will steal her. Huh? Oh, yeah, it is um, 20, yeah, I guess. Now she's got one tonight. And, and now, the playtime train. Oh, the playtime train looks April, a little 15, bit, uh, yeah. My whole it goes right is. forward here. And now to have this. Living Color Liquid Motion Art. The next day, so a Japanese start. alphabet and we were narrated by Miho Mitias. I mean... I, I, I promised it. It's very, very rare. But I can only speak Japanese. If I, if I only speak Japanese, then if I... I promised it, yeah. It's very, very interesting. It, it's, it's cause of the content because... Anyway, uh, yeah. I always typed another podcast that you know. I typed in the description right there. Now right. to an English yeah, nursery rhyme narrated by Jillian and Clark. It tells about Jack and Jill. It zoomed in the funny barnyard. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, if Jack fell down and broke the crown and it got hurt, please, uh, you better call in an emergency, you know. And now, a Hebrew relaxation of flowers. Oh, this nursery rhyme is Hebrewish and it's Jewish. It was narrated by Iris Zinger. So Iris, though, it was she's she's a uh, celebrating Hanukkah and uh, and Passover. Oh, yeah. Once again, great minds start little, but it's a process. It's completely a process, you know. Now, there's a song, a weird kind of song, Fake a Cake in German, a musical mobile zoomed in, is black, yellow, and red. Kind of like a pattern or something like that. I mean, any of you viewers who watch this video, you have no idea what it was going to be up to. Now, another greeting, but this time with Spanish. It was voiced by Erica Silva. Now, there you go. Accounting in French. It made in France. It was voiced by Frida Gotalny. I mean, by the way, it's very inappropriate. Those European languages are inappropriate. Japanese is appropriate. <laughs> you know, please keep in mind, I, I, I promise this. Yeah. Oh, that's creepy. That's very creepy. The candles. A lullaby in Russia. In black background. The taper candles. It's very... It, the lullaby in Russia is very creepy. I cannot understand it. I, uh, I, I feel my brain needs a little bit to relax with all this painish without any kind of... Oh. Yeah, yeah. So, I have no idea because I just noticed. But Ludmilla Saitsev is a good Russian singer that helps my brain to relax. And now a Japanese lullaby feature some dolls. It's called, um, yeah, it's called Komori Uta. It's definitely really, really like a, yeah, yeah. Definitely, I mean, 
yeah, it looks like a Harmony Baby doll, a Plush Girl doll, Raggedy Ann, and Betsy Wetsy. That's what it's all about, you know? <laughs> it's very great. I thought Mihyo is definitely like a Japanese lullaby narrator. Uh oh, there's the train again. Where's it going? Oh no, it's going backwards! <laughs> Who knew? Now, a rhyme of Hey Diddle Little in Spanish with the Pull Along Wiggly Caterpillar, narrated by Erica Silva. Pull it! There we go! And I have no idea. Okay. Now, counting in, uh, in German. This is insane because I thought so many people might only have to say it's, um, yeah, so it was great. I hope it rides on, you know. Oh, yeah, okay. Made in Tokyo, made in Paris, made in Berlin, live in Georgia. Oh, there's a music box. It features I had in France. You know, yeah, it sounds really relaxing. Mm. Mm. Now, three Hebrew videos. Featuring some of the most uh, Hebrew languages. Featuring Iris Zinger. It, it's, uh, it, it's Hush Baby. Foam alphabet blocks and fun links. You know, it's, it's very, very slicker that I just, yeah. Good. Now a second uh, Hebrew video from Israel. Definitely. And I just meant to say Shalom because I, I, I thought I've always celebrated Hanukkah and Passover. <laughs> Who knew if there was any kind of look like a, yeah. Uh, those are blocks. How could you know this blocks? You know? Um, get ready to, uh, make it happen. Whoa! Whoa! The knocks up locked down, you know? Yeah. Now, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in Spanish features some patterns. A bullseye, red lines, and a chessboard. Which has a sound of sparkling bells. Yeah. Now, next up! It was the English kind of nursery rhyme narrated by Julie Clark. It, it has curious creatures, happy starfish. And it does hurt also. Yeah, yeah, they couldn't. I, I can't believe they couldn't. No. Now, now the alphabet in spa, uh, wait, hold on. In French. We, oop, I, I always, I, I didn't say yes in French. I would say personally. You know what? I have no idea what kind of French language it might be. Oh, oh, it's a lamb! 
Okay, okay. Now, you know the song that happens here in this toy, A Wind-Up Musical Lamb? Very creepy. It was Mary Had a Little Lamb in C major with the key change to D major. An instrumental music box that says, yep, that says it all. You know, I, I, I promise that there's a wind of musical land, but maybe, uh, I think it's very cute. I mean, it's completely, absolutely cute. Now, we have a playtime train that goes forward, then stops in the middle, then it temporarily keeps going. Now, the little goose in Russian. It includes the funny barnyard. Yeah, this nursery rhyme is about a goose. And the song is all about the goose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I promise that there's a goose living in a road. Right to the funny barnyard toy. <laughs> anyway, I thought this is a joke. And I mean completely, yeah. Now, children's prayer in German. With seedlings, colorful windmill. Yeah, it sounds like a German prayer. Um, thanks to the god, you know, I guess. You know, it, 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 pays, it, pays, uh, it pays tribute to the Lord, the Christ is... Yeah, that Christ, the... The, the sermon of a... Uh, yeah. yeah I'll make it so really look like a... Yeah. Now... Mathematics in English. Counted by Julina Clark. With the musical clock. Yeah. Anyway. This musical clock is reminding me of this clock from... Storybook Land. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I promise that the Storybook Land is a... Favorite vintage place, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. I can only just uh, count it in my head, you know? I I if you could count on something. Well, you know what? I think you count on something else, too. Uh, oh, yeah. It, it goes high enough to 20 and then? Okay. Okay, success. Well, you know, even though if there's... There's, uh, yeah, since I'm 20 years old now. All right. Now to say hello in Japanese is this. Konnichiwa, Miyuki, Takaya, Paisley. Now a French transition to a uh, little Bo Peep in France. Uh -huh. Yeah, it includes some um, jelly beans and a dog. With the uh, curious creatures again, happy starfish. Very creepy, but cute. How about how about strings? <clears throat> now my first Christmas bear is next. So. Um, and there's the Chiming Octopus. It's very, very inappropriate for Frida. Now, in a, in addition, we'll have a xylophone. <laughs> a xylophone that was completely, looked like wood. Completely just like wood. Yeah. Okay, now it was a, an original gyroscope with an alphabet in Spanish. I, I always try to say that, but it's true. Oh, yeah. You know what? I promise that there's a. Uh, they're just. There's millions of views on YouTube. I have no idea that there's toys in the video. 
the woman who was selling it would hug me and kiss me. Okay. You look at the house. Come in. Really? She was so happy. I have no I idea that that I mean, means it was why. Yeah, 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 I was looking like, why is he there? Yeah, I mean, I mean oh, come on, shut your mouth. Well, I don't know. Let's now it's real, I don't know. counting in Hebrew really? with a fishbowl. So sweet, I can't tell you. Uh, I wish just you like the zoomed in thing. Now home. it's zoomed out to the camera. Oh, look at this fish and this cute little snail. So, if you see this fish in a fishbowl, then you may have to go uh, Google it. So, please keep. Googling, you hear me? Please keep googling, you YouTubers. Tell me yeah. in the comments below. So, all right. So I gotta talk to my yeah. You know. <laughs> you had no idea. Okay. <laughs> There's a transition right there. Okay. Um, and then my other yeah, my other question is. So I. There's a small mortgage on the There's house. There's a train right over there? There's a mortgage owed on the house of like 35000 Um. Okay. Now, yeah, it goes backwards. Because? It goes backwards. Until I was able to get the articles of administration from the courts and all this shit, hmm, I didn't pay the mortgage. Let's see here. So the mortgage went into default. Now it's a rock stack but again. But I've been working with, with So now it's in like a... Stack up. It's, not it's in, um, it's in a coded It's the game song in Hebrew. So foreclosure proceedings were started but they've been paused. Um, it was a, a game well, song and a prayer thing. in I Hebrew. I with these papers on which so I So maybe I might pray. And I, I always and pray I for the brain to take a rest. With using on. language and using sights oh, and toys and backgrounds. Yeah, yeah. I called. So, and then what happened, which didn't so, help the situation. It goes a little forward. It's stack up and stack down. No, with it's been this like love transition. They, there's no, there's no sale date. Let's put it that way. There's no. S I don't know. Amen. I don't know. Now, no, it's English nursery rhyme with a light background. No, no, no. They didn't. Get, I, I, I don't think they did. Oh God, I should probably find out. Yeah, I could send the sight. Oh my god. Oh, you know what? You have no idea what you are wondering about that star, you know, Julie. Um, now accounting in Japanese. Oh, hold on. oh back to Miomitius. No, I don't have a judgment of what I always love to count in Japanese. Uh, I just have to notice, but there's only a site with black rectangles and negative effect, um, black and white and ri red stripes, three white circles and negative effect, a red rectangular bullseye, and a black circle bullseye with negative effect. Because you know, some negative effects are look like a filters in it. So if you go to iMovie, you go to filters. Now, a nursery rhyme in Russia, which includes her left hand. Julie's left hand is for to warm up. Off the letter. And basically, what happened was they were in foreclosure proceedings. But and then I, I, I I'm sure then, I had so, a left well, one, you know. Okay, so the 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 um. It started out that the mortgage was with Bank of America. Okay. Bank of it took me okay. almost a now, year to get Bank of America. One more reading, but this time in front. And to get them to understand and to get my my name's on the deed of the house finally. Mm -hmm. So now they were talking to me. So now an alphabet they in put German. In a for COVID the rock and roll top which La because Bamba. I explained so I was in a COVID forbearance it and was for spin. one month. It was supposed to be for six months. One month in, Bank of America sells more. Now it ends the spin. Now to a nursery room in Hebrew again, but this time with 
J.W. Stenard's sleigh bell. <laughs> okay, so now a month a month in, Bank of America sells the mortgage to Carrington Mortgage. So Bank of America said don't. Mm. They did. They did. So right now, when I get a statement from Carrington, it's, it says on the yeah, it makes me like I'm sleeping here the night. Oh, a metronome with a red sticker. I can hypnotize with a finger. Exactly. exactly. So, in the meantime, I got a letter. Okay. It was a um. It was like it was I guess something from the court no that I had to respond to. And basically, I responded to it. And I just want you to know I, I, I don't know who I about this toy to, right but there. To she the, can I sign that with the account in okay, so the, the Spanish. Paperwork came from an attorney. So I called the attorney's office and explained the situation. Oh, they yeah. said, okay, not it a problem. shines and shakes. Just send me a letter out. stating exactly what you just told me, um, that you're in COVID forbearance. Send me the article. <laughs> you have no idea about how this Carrington didn't know my father had passed. How cute. It was this whole big mess. Oh, so I, I did that. I sent the attorney with what the they told me to right on. So she now I get a letter. Nursery rhyme in English. Little Miss Muffet. And how did that plush girl doll can't see a spider? Though, so the letter came. Um, it's a and if you could see the spider, tell me in the comments below. Pierce, <laughs> in Orlando. I thought I heard you, YouTubers. Tell me in the comments Honorable below, but there is any spider in the video? No. So I guess that's what the letter is that includes to. foods like, so it's from an attorney like a banana, to the peas, and apple. And I get a nursery copy, rhyme in right? Japanese. And it says, Ray, Bank that means of cherry blossoms. NA it's called Sakuda. Claiming an interest in the estate of Paula Bella. Case number, our file. Your Honor. Enclosed mm. piece finds the plaintiff's motion. So you know what the sakura is? A cherry blossom. So if you know the cherry water. blossom, comment down. Uh, now, lastly, an alphabet in Russia. Which includes Julie's cat. Water. Please review an now, if any of you cats could know water, about Stormy, Jasper, Stella, Luna, and Zelda, about Stella and Zelda, they're all dead. It's called pet dead life. So now anyway, the so there's only three to go. So the order says, okay, so Bank of America is the plaintiff. Plaintiff's now in a red German hat with a steps. small plush duck rattle, comes, which includes a greeting just, in German. I feel like, okay, so let me, so let me centrate. So it comes now the plaintiff, now, Bank of America, and a Vines Rose Rainbows, a Japanese nursery rhyme with a cow plush. Status, and as Brown it's called Nidi. On or about September 28th, the plaintiff filed their initial complaint on the matter. On or I wish about I had a plush cow. January 10th, I wish I could order that. The case was transferred and a notice of appearance as co-counsel. So, if you know about this toy right there, this toy right there is the really what I wanted, though. As of February 13th, I hope that's it, though. The loan Those credits I created. In the credits, you see Aspen Clark. Place the stay on inactive status pending the, the video and the created. And that language nursery kid is Aspen. Five, Julie's sister. In good faith and not so if you know how Aspen is, she's completely six, cute. That no party will so, the yeah. The you can see the picture of Aspen right there. So, I don't know she's so why. beautiful. When she was a little kid. In and 1997, and she needs a rattle. There's a hammer rattle. Right, and then I guess it was granted <laughs> because then it says on. Um, it says here. Now order. my brain is relaxed. Um, now it says staff. thanks for the watching. Plaintiff's motion to there we go. 1997, Warner Brothers Company LLC. And in the end, you see how Porky Pig does. That that's all focusing at the end of the so at the end of the video. Play. Anyway, thank you so much for watching our review here on the Looney Tunes podcast. So even though it was very very soft, but I think 
It's beautiful. So make sure you can stay tuned for another video like Looney Mozart. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe.